I per finalitzar, per finalitzar, tenim a la Cristina Galusca. El títol de la seva xerrada és I remember this. Hi, everyone. Pretend for a minute that you are the baby in this photo. Ready? Your mom is talking to you. Bebe, adu leul de pe masă și dă-i lui mama. As a baby, you might have understood one or two words, but you don't quite know what I asked you to do. So then how do babies guess the meanings of words in such messy environments where their parents could be talking about tens of objects? Okay, well, not all parents are this messy. I will give you that. But still, the task of matching unfamiliar words to the objects they refer to is not easy at all. Now, if I really wanted you to understand what I meant, I could have used eye contact, so you knew I was talking to you. I could have gazed in the direction of the object I was talking about. I could have even pointed to the object I was referring to. Well, it turns out that research shows that babies are particularly receptive to eye contact, eye gaze, and pointing that we will call ostensive cues, and that ostensive cues make it a lot easier for babies to understand words and to learn language. But this is not the whole story. It's not that ostensive cues are only helpers. They really make it possible for you to, trans to transmit culture and to learn language. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you right now is the following. As a teacher, I'm using eye contact and pointing to raise a red flag and tell you, hey, this is really important. You will need this later. Pay attention. This is not even the most important and interesting thing about ostensive cues. What's particularly important is that whether you use ostensive cues or not makes a huge difference on how you perceive the environment around you and how you encode information. So if I point to an object, a baby will pay attention and remember whether the object is a teddy bear or a lion. But if I do a reaching gesture towards the same object, they will encode the location. So whether the object was here or here. So basically, as a teacher, I'm using eye contact and pointing to guide your attention selectively to what I think is important for you to learn. And this is how you learn new words, like leu, or new facts. But how do these ostensive cues actually work? What is their net benefit, and what is the cognitive mechanism behind them? Well, these are the general questions I'm currently trying to answer in my research. So far, I've only focused on eye contact. We know that eye contact benefits learning. But how? Is it that eye contact increases your attention to everything so you will remember all types of information better? Or is eye contact relevant for some types of information only? So, if I gave you a series of digits, let's say, like my phone number, would you remember it better if I made eye contact with you? Or if I told you the names of my colleagues or the objects I carry in my bag today or what I had for breakfast, would you remember this better if I made eye contact? Which of these types of information would you remember if I made eye contact with you? Well, this is what I'm trying to answer in the next two years. But meanwhile, have I convinced you of the superpowers of eye contact? <laughs> and if so, next time you or you are the ones to make eye contact with this baby, please remember, with great eye contact comes great responsibility. Thank you.